So Fine Fine decided to send out the A22s for a review. They did not tell me that these were coming out or this was a thing when they sent out the A20s that I recently reviewed um, on the channel. And I pretty much said that those speaker systems or wherever there was a discrepancy as far as getting over, I would say about 75%, depending on the genre of music you're listening to. And I said, listening to content like on your internet browser is fine. Maybe some chill single player games like Minecraft or something like that. But I wouldn't use it for any competitive gaming or anything like that or expecting to get you know professional grade studio monitors or wherever experience out of it so what does that leave out for the a22s are they vastly superior than the a20s tldr yes the a22s are vastly superior than the a20s the a20s are coming in around 40 something dollars and the a22s is coming around i think 73 dollars i'll have the price on screen so you can see and what you get here is uh, vastly improved, I would say, sound quality. So, yes, you can max out the volume like I've done in the audio test section on your actual device, especially if you're Bluetoothing it. And then you can control the volume on the actual speaker system. So you are not going to run into that clarity op uh, issue that I talked about in that video. But again, if you still want to see the A20s reviews and you can get a better comprehensive uh information or wherever and see what i'm talking about i'll leave it linked in the description and it should pop on screen somewhere with that being said the a22s does come with the aux capability but it's detachable and on top of that i think it's a decent enough length to be able to hook up to whatever you need now keep in mind if you want to hook this up to your phone for whatever reason and it's not bluetooth you are going to have to get you a separate dongle or you want to hook it up to something that for whatever reason again you don't want to hook it up bluetooth you're going to have to get a separate dongle it's not included in the package so what else is here you get the bluetooth like i said you get the aux you get a dedicated power supply that's in the um actual box itself that has enough long i'll say long enough power cord so if you want to hook this up to your desktop setup which i would recommend this mostly for you're going to want to have a cable tray underneath or wherever plug it into the surge protector and you will have enough length i think to manage it or wherever and have it set up in a position that you can um use it properly the the cables from the speaker and the main speaker to the smaller speaker it does seem to be short in person admittedly um, at first glance but once you start moving the speaker uh, away from the main speaker system you see that it's actually uh, i would say enough length here especially since it's transmitting not only the rgb from the actual um power wherever for the rgb from the actual main speaker system but is also transferring that audio we do have a proprietary connection here with the usb type c cable because there's an indention here as you can see and then you got the indentions right here on the usb type c cable so you're going to have to use the cables that come in the box just keep that in mind if for whatever reason you were thinking about getting even longer cables for if whatever reason you need to or something like that it's not necessarily a drawback it's just something i want to make you guys aware of of. Now, this main speaker system has some connection uh, capabilities in the back. You have a headphone port, you have an aux port, you have the optical port, you have the OTG, which means you can hook it up to a laptop, whatever it can supply USB type C connection or wherever you have that option there. And then you have the power cord uh, port. And then obviously on the far end of each, you have the actual cable that's supposed to go to the speaker systems respectively. Now the RGB system. So future squid here, I just had mouth surgery. So forgive me. But what I was going to say in this uh, portion of the video was that the A22s has the same RGB, uh, I would say display as the A20s, but they don't. The A22s has a vast majority um, of the same RGB, but even more different RGB options as far as listening to the music and reacting to the music. So I do want to go ahead and say that there will be an RGB showcase probably a little bit later on in the video, but I do want to go ahead and specify that the changes to the RGB system is really nice and welcome. It would be cool if they can incorporate this somehow onto their microphones in the future, like when you're talking and then text it. But, um, in my personal opinion, yeah, just the RGB display and how it reacts to music and it only reacts to certain parts of the music. So it makes it even more unique. Um, what they did here with RGB is phenomenal and it looks impressive in person, I would say, especially for this price point being under $100. But yeah, back to past squid. I will say, though, that 
these RGB lights or wherever that's in here are brighter and well more put together than the A20s for whatever reason. And I think it's because it has a dedicated power uh, brick or wherever to supply that power. And the main power is coming from the studio monitors. So that again is a nice little, I would say, uh, welcome addition for whatever reason. But again, I think it's because it has the AC adapter. So overall, what are my thoughts or wherever of the build quality? Like I said before, the A22s are a little bit more well made than the A20s. The A20s do feel like they're, I would say, sub $50 as far as the, the material and the, the, the weight of it and everything like that. You can tell they're just laptop speakers pretty much. Um, and that's what I would use it for. Maybe in the kitchen or wherever, have an aux cord hooked up to something in the kitchen, you know, and just play maybe through a laptop or something like that. And you're just chilling. You're not looking to, you know, have a party in your house. But these, I would say, are hooked up to your actual desktop, you know, or a console or something like that. And you're enjoying a single player game or you are enjoying um, maybe a multiplayer game that's, you know, fun or wherever. Maybe you're playing with a couch co-op or something like that. And you're playing through this or wherever in your office, you know, small room or something, not necessarily living room, but, you know, just at your gaming space. Or maybe you're listening to some uh, different types of music or maybe you're watching a YouTube video, maybe watching this YouTube video, you know, stuff like that. That's what I would use the A22 for. And I think you are going to have a better, uh, say, listening experience over the a20s again that's not a knock to the a20s i think they do have their own um position to enroll to play depending on what your setup is for maybe for your kid or something like that again below 50 dollars it's going to be good for laptops all that stuff this one i would say for the a22s like i said is primarily probably for a desktop setup maybe a console setup or something like that you're just working vibing or wherever chilling playing like i said some single player games you could probably hook this up to a TV or something. I'm not sure, depending on the type of TV and what you already have in your entertainment system, this is not going to be beating that. And again, this is not going to replace, I would say, actual studio quality monitor. Everything that we talked about today will be linked in the description as affiliate links. And before I want to go ahead and move on to the sound test, Fine Fine told me that these speaker systems wouldn't replace the A16s because they saw that I liked it and I enjoyed it. And I still use the A16 on my desktop. And I said that i wouldn't replace the a20s wherever um and replace the a16s with the a20s but the a22s um i'm sorry to tell you fine fine they are replacing the a16 on my desk the a16 is going to go anywhere i needed or wherever as far as the portability because it has the internal battery and if you want to know a little bit more about the a16 again it will be uh in the video for the a20s but this the a22s are going to go on my desk setup over there and when i want to listen to music or wherever or listen to content and i don't want to wear headphones for whatever reason i'm going to be jamming with this different connection options and wherever the sound quality is good for the price point it's punchy it's bassy but it's not overbearing bassy like you see with a lot of uh cheaper speakers where they just try to you know blast you with bass or wherever and distorts the audio and everything no if anything, it sounds even better because you have this middle speaker. So I know it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to hear over the sound test with just something like this or wherever to pick up the sound, but you would have to hear it in person in comparison to the A20s. And I'm telling you, vastly superior audio quality. I would, however, say that I would not use this still for Warzone or Apex Legends or any battle royales where you need to hear footprints and stuff. I think surround sound or maybe some professional studio monitors. If you want to use speakers, those are what you're going to want to use. But I would just recommend strongly using headsets like I mentioned in the A20 video, maybe the H9 from Fine Fine. Those headsets are really good. I'll leave that review down in the description because I purchased that with my own money. Money and I reviewed it and I still think that is really, really good. I just hope that in the future, Fine Fine comes with uh, a wireless headset because that's what I need, especially when you have a wife and you have a son at home when you need to get up and go. Taking the headset off can be a little problematic. So again, that's just my overall thoughts. Let's jump into the sound test. Connected. <laughs>
So that's going to do it for the sound test and that's going to do it for the video. Overall, like I said, I recommend the Fine Fine A22s. I think they're a fantastic buy, especially being under $100. I know there's other millions probably of speaker systems out there under $100 that you might not be aware of and you might say, you know, it's worth your money, check it out, all that stuff. But I can only go off of the gear that the company send me and what I have purchased my own money. And in the office, especially like I've said multiple times in multiple videos, having a wife, having a son or whatever, can't really do this type of music. And I have that speaker from Walmart that has 50 hours of battery life. It's phenomenal for street performing and stuff. And that's the only thing I do, but that thing is loud and is kind of overkill, especially for even house parties. Um, in my personal opinion, you're definitely going to get noise complaints with that. Um, but here in the office or wherever, like I said, I saw the A16s when it first came out, I purchased it and been happy ever since. Never really looked back or looked at anything else. And fine, fine, um, send me out, you know, both of the speakers. And like I said, the A20s, they're still a reason to have them, I think, or wherever below $50. Laptop setups and stuff, you'd be surprised how many people have that. And like I said, getting something like this for your kid, like a, like a stock and stuff or something, you're going to get your money's worth or wherever and your kid's going to, you know, get their money's worth and get enjoyment out of it. But if you wanted to, you know, maybe get your teenager something or, you know, maybe a friend or something like that who doesn't have something like this, um, as long as they're understanding, like I said, you're not going to be competitive esports gamery with something like this, but you would be able to enjoy, I think, single player games, listen to lo-fi, hip hop, you know, stuff like that. You're the A22s. I, they, they fine fine killed it again i mean there's nothing else i can really say as far as like the quality the sound quality the rgb selections and stuff um the only thing is is that as far as drawbacks go in my personal opinion they haven't released other color variants but it's it's literally brand new i think if i remember correctly um on the amazon store page it came uh, available like in march or may or something like that so it hasn't been out that long in my personal opinion as far as products go and in manufacturing other colors getting customer feedback doing all that stuff before you know they come out with future colors so again comes in white it's going right there on the desk then this black version or whatever's going to go in my wife setup but overall again fine fine killed it with uh with ease and that's the reason why I keep telling you guys I partnered up with Fine Fine. And again, I do affiliate links and all that stuff with them more because their products that they come out with is really good uh, build quality. A lot of them are budget options. Some of them are priced a little bit high, but they're still budget options and they're really, really good for people who are looking to get budget items for their setup who are looking for that good quality, you know, and they're not paying, you know, 50, 60, $70 in case of these speakers for $70. And the audio sounds like you're listening to it through a tin can. You know what I'm saying? These, these speakers are really good. And fine, fine. Thank you for constantly sending out products for me to try out and tell my viewers about. And guys, again, check out the links. Even if you don't want to use my code or my affiliate links or wherever down in the description, definitely check them out wherever if you're looking for a new speaker system, because this is going to be good for your setup, 100%. Um, so again, check out all the affiliate links down below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment what you think about this down in, in the comment section and um sorry if i can't get to your comments and stuff i've been getting a lot flooded through various different videos and i have to go back and watch and see what the video is about and see what they were talking about so i'm not able to get to everybody but again i appreciate all the love and support y'all have been showing on the videos with that being said if you're interested in my live streams where i do play video games you can check out that live stream link in the top of the description and uh turn on notifications to see whenever i go live chit chat with me over there about products or content creation or just you know come by and chill and talk to me about video games with that being said check out the product review playlist at the end of the video and um yeah fine fine good job thanks for always making good products i'll see you guys in the next one y'all take care have a squid has a day god bless you and yours and deuces everybody much love.